How to create a drop down menu in Shopify. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. So, if you're looking to build a drop down menu in your Shopify store where one item leads to the next instead of it just being bland like this, you can head on over into your Shopify dashboard, click on online store on the left, and then click on navigation under online store. Click on your main menu, and once you do that, you can delete the catalog item. Click on add menu item and add the different items you want. This can include things such as your collections, pages, or products. So let's say I want a all products page, you're just going to add that and then I want all of my products to be listed out individually. So I can click on products over here and add them all as navigation menu items. Once you add your navigation menu items, you can simply select the item and move it towards the right, and then it will create a drop down menu. Now, if I hold the eyelash extension service product and move it up, this will also be added as a sub item. You can add further sub items to sub items in Shopify as well, simply by adding a new product. So I'll add the same thing as a sub item as well. And I'm going to place it as a sub item and then you can click on and then move it towards the right to create it as another drop down. Click on save on the top right and once you click on save and preview your Shopify store, your drop down menu on Shopify should now be ready. Now this is just to create a drop down menu of a full screen menu. If you want to change the overall appearance of your store and you want your entire menu to be hidden, which basically means that you only want your menu to show up when people click on the dots and then the menu pops up, for that you're going to have to alter your online store settings. Just go into online store, click on customize. Once you click on customize, you have your header and your navigation menu like this. Simply click on header. And within your header section, you're going to see your desktop menu type. Select that as a drawer menu and it will now be created as a drawer menu. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.